What's up, everybody? Podcast, vlog, on the road, talking about Tiger Woods, Facebook and Instagram, Snapchat, and Amazon. All right, hit the intro. So for this next segment, just want to talk about one of the greatest golfers I've ever seen in my life, probably the only one I've seen in my life, Tiger Woods. Look, I've only seen the guy on TV, so let's just get that straight. But there was a time I did geek out on golf. So if you haven't heard, this past weekend, Tiger Woods, after five years of going basically almost some would say rock bottom and personally and then also going through uh, some hardships physically uh, he had a back problems and had gone through surgery he finally won a PJ event his 80th but I do want to say one thing I am happy that Tiger Woods pretty much rose from the issues that he has had and now it seems like he's back on track as far as professionally as a golfer and also personally in his life it's a great thing to see what I do want to say is this though Tiger Woods which is great to see that he saved himself and his golf game and his professional life I do not think he's going to save golf, especially the PGA in general. We all see that golf as a sport is diminishing. I have read articles that golf courses have closed down across nationwide, especially in the US, and even stores have decided to let go of golf uh, equipment in general. Uh, Nike even pretty much gave up on the golf brand and decided to just leave it alone. Yes, they do sponsor Tiger Woods, but as far as equipment wise, they basically are not, not are not even in the game. And the way society is today, the gap between those of low income, high income and middle, especially the between the middle and high is starting to widen. And in a sport where it costs money, don't lie to yourself, it does. All you golf geeks out there, you know it. The gap is increasing and the cost of golf has not, and I repeat, as, as far as I've seen, has not come down. The game of golf, and I admit it, I was sucked into it, I geeked out about it. In the end, too much time, too much money. But I'm not say I'm not gonna say that it is not possible for golf to come back and kids to love it. Maybe Tiger Woods will save it. But I don't think that's on his mind. And to be honest with you, on my mind, I don't think the game of golf in the end is gonna be saved by Tiger Woods. I'm glad Tiger Woods did save himself from personal demons and professional demons. And I'm glad to see that he'll be on TV on on weekends and that he did not leave the sport in pretty much in bad terms I love to see him walk away from the game having the most wins beating Sam Snead's record of 82 wins maybe get a few more, few more majors kind of har hardly doubt it but if he gets a couple majors great but to see him walk away from the game not limping not on his knees back problems not personal issues but in a way that some of us will love to see him leave the game all right that's just my thoughts so tiger congratulations love to see you again on the television good to see you win but i'm rooting more for you and your profession right now but i don't see the game of golf going to new heights as far as the new generation of kids and the sport. A couple things I want to talk about with regards to tech 
and big news that happened actually in the past couple days. One, the founders of Instagram have decided to leave Facebook. Now, for me, I'm kind of leery now with regards to this news. One, I do like using Instagram, Facebook not as much. But with Facebook now, and it seems like they will take over Instagram, I don't know what direction uh, they will be going to and how will it affect Instagram and it working with Facebook. Are, they gonna, are there going to be more ads? Are they going to focus more on businesses? I am not sure. But hearing this news, kind of a bummer for me. I try to go on Instagram and use it a lot more often than I do on Facebook or even Snapchat, but it looks like with regards to some photos and videos, I may start looking more at Snapchat, but we will see. I'm leery on Snapchat because one, my main gripe is everything is in portrait or vertical mode. Not my deal. I do like to shoot wide, horizontal, but we'll see how this goes. Speaking of Snapchat, one thing that's pretty cool uh, that was actually in the news uh, these past couple days is that Snapchat has now teamed up with Amazon to work on basically you can take a snap, a photo of yourself and possibly people can find the clothes the clothes that you wear or any items and shop that on Amazon how this will work I'm not sure I'm sure that there are um, other companies have been doing it um, I've heard Pinterest has has been doing it as well as Facebook I really didn't look in much into the feature when it comes to shopping I'm pretty much looking at clothes or items that I can see personally myself right in front of me versus through a photo but yes once in a while I am interested in an, in an item that is on a photo but we'll see how this works with snapchat and Amazon um, I'd like to actually see Amazon work more with Instagram and Facebook but We'll see how their partnership goes with Snapchat and how Snapchat uh, works Amazon into their app and basically how the service will work. I'm just kind of curious though, on a funny side, will the app sometimes tell you uh, that's not the proper way to uh, advertise what you're wearing? For instance, sometimes I do get lazy or I really don't care um, I like to pro wear like cross brands uh, like for instance Adidas socks with uh, Nike shoes or vice versa. Just wondering if uh, Snapchat or Amazon will come back with a funny line saying yeah that's probably not the way to go. How about and for my audience or my lack of audience say well I know he's wearing those socks but why don't you go to this one instead? Anyway, just kind of something that thought would be kind of funny, but again, we'll see how Snapchat and Amazon work together. Anyway, that's quick on, on the tech side. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this Tuesday tech or Tuesday talk on the road, mainly uh, Tuesday tech, but I know I also talked about Tiger Woods. Uh, that was something that I wanted to speak about because that's happened this past weekend. So I will hopefully talk to you guys in the next few days. Again, this is Phoebus Byron, the Leisure Geek. And yeah, talk to you guys again real soon.